I will uh, officially gavel to open up uh, the 83rd meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. This is my 26th presiding as NHGRI director. Welcome, everyone, both here in the room and listening and watching remotely. It's good to see all of you. And I'm going to immediately turn things over to our Executive Secretary, Rudy Pazzotti. Thank you, Eric. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let me remind you that um, this uh, broadcast, the open session is being webcast uh, live. Uh, we also maintain an archive uh, of the open session. So whatever you say and do today will be uh, retained in history forever and ever. Uh, we have three council members who are participating by phone. So I'd like to remind uh, the council members here to please make sure you use the microphone. It's uh, turn on your mics. Uh, it's the only way they can hear you on the phone, and try to remember to shut them off. I think, I think we can only have three open simultaneously. So, um, I'd like to start uh, by doing introductions of two new council members who are joining us at this meeting. Let's begin with uh, Patricia Deverka. Dr. Deverka has a Doctor of Medicine degree from the University of Pittsburgh, and a Master's of Bioethics degree from the University of Pennsylvania and a master's degree in preventive medicine from the University of Maryland. Her current position is principal researcher at the American Institutes for Research in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, but she also holds adjunct associate professor positions at the University of North Carolina and the University of Maryland. Prior to these academic positions, Dr. Deverka spent almost 15 years in the pharmaceutical industry, including positions at Abbott Labs and Janssen Pharmaceutica, where she directed outcome research studies. Uh, her current research at the American Institutes for Research is focused on comparative effectiveness studies, particularly with regard to genomic-based technologies and establishing the evidence base that they improve patient outcomes. Dr. Dverka has received funding from NIH, the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, or PCORI, and the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, AHRQ. Welcome, Dr. Dverka. Uh, also, Dr. Rafael Irizarry. Dr. Irizarry is a professor of biostatistics and computational biology at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and professor of, bi professor of biostatistics at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. He is the 2009 winner of the Committee of Presidents of Statistical Societies, or the COPS Award, uh, which is one of the highest awards given in the field of uh, statistics. In the same year, he was also awarded the Mortimer Spiegelman Award from the American Public Health Association, which recognizes outstanding work by public health statisticians under the age of 40. Dr. Irizarry's research interests span the fields of biostatistics and computational biology. Some of his most important contributions have been the development of statistical methods to improve the quality and reliability of high-throughput data from genomic technologies and the leadership he has provided to the Bioconductor Project, which is, widely used, which is a widely used open source, open development platform that hosts hundreds of community developed software tools used to analyze genomic data. Rafael has received multiple grants from NIGMS, NHGRI, and NCI. He has also served on multiple NIH peer review panels, including two years as the chair of the computational uh, genomics Computational Biology and Technology Study Section. Welcome, Rafa. So we have a couple of new employees at NHGRI. Uh, when I call your name, would you please stand up so the council members can see you? Uh, Lorgetta Schools. Lorgetta is a new program specialist working in the Division of Genomic Sciences. Lorgetta has an undergraduate degree in biology from Morgan State University. Prior to her arrival here at NHGRI, she has 10 years of laboratory experience working for companies. Her lab skills include genetic diagnostic test, HPLC methods development, immunologic assay validation, and general research and development work. Lorgetta is involved in a number of activities that span all of the Division of Genomic Sciences, and I think in time she will have worked with all of the program directors in that division and probably in other divisions as well. Uh, thank you, Lorgetta. 
A new precedent, yes. Uh, Anthony Williams. Anthony should have been introduced to you two council meetings ago, but uh, we sent him off to training uh, uh, activities that he was required to do that happened to overlap with uh, the council meetings. So he's here now. Let's get this done, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony has an undergraduate degree in mass communications from the College of Virginia State University. Following graduation, Anthony worked for a time as an IT recruiter in Northern Virginia before entering the NIH Pathways Program. Now, the Pathways Program is designed to provide uh, training and internship-like positions that will hopefully lead to uh, employment and, indeed, a career in the federal government. Anthony's title is Pathways Gra Grants Management Administrator, and he's in training to become a grant specialist in the administration, Grants Administration Branch. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, I want to welcome our society liaisons. Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors is with us, and other members are uh, watching uh, on the web. Thank you for being with us, Rhonda. Uh, I now seek your approval for the February Council uh, minutes. Uh, we've already gotten one correction from Jonathan, and I apologize for leaving your name off, but that will be added. At least I know somebody reads the minutes now. Uh, are there any other uh, corrections or edits that people want to make? If not, can I have a motion to accept the now amended minutes? And a second. All in favor? Any opposed? No one ever opposes the minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, I draw your attention to the four next four meetings of the council. Uh, we should have dates soon for 2020 meetings. Please look at those dates, share them with your administrative assistants. If you have any schedule conflicts, let me and, more importantly, uh, Comfort Brown know about that. And I'm ready to turn the meeting over to Eric for his director's report. <laughs>